So you would imagine that after so many years, after having like, what, 35 materials, Roblox has finally made an update where we have 8 extra materials and I'm going to go over them in this video and let me just say that they are a bit interesting so I'm just going to grab a display mesh and it's going to be this ball right here so right now this is a beta feature and a lot of stuff might change or be disabled and so on so not everything might be the same depending on when you are watching the tutorial but anyways so firstly to enable the new materials you need to go into file and then beta features because this is a beta feature and just scroll down to the... where was it again? Oh, right here, the new base materials. So you just need to enable this checkbox and then press on save. And sometimes you might need to restart the studio, but after you do so, you're going to have the new materials down in the properties. And the first material is a cardboard. Where I also need to change the color of the mesh. Because Roblox's materials are just related to the image textures that are just black and white and you overlay the color on top of them. So let me just leave it as a cardboard color. And this is the fuse material. And I'm also going to do a little showcase like this on every material so you can see how the light reflects on it. So this is the cardboard. It actually looks like a cardboard and you can see how the surface is kind of rough. So the light is reflecting right here on top, but whenever it's shining right at it, you can really see the reflection or anything else. And that's because of its normal maps that are structured to design a cardboard material. But let's move to another one. And this one is going to be a carpet. And let's just give it like a red color. And I don't really like this one, in my opinion it's a little bit overdone. Because if I were to for example just make a random floor, and then just place the carpet on it, it will just kind of look like a sandpaper instead. Same goes for different colors like with this example. I don't know if they are trying to go for a more realistic carpet look, or a more realistic carpet texture rather, but I don't think this one is going to be particularly better than for example having a surface appearance with like different PBR carpet textures. So that's for the carpet basically and let's move to another material. And this one is going to be the ceramic tiles. Where this material in my opinion is actually really good. Let me just change the color to white. And that's because of the shading and the map data. If I go a little bit closer, you can see that there is the reflection only on the tiles and not the parts between them on like these tile joints or gaps. And also don't worry about like these deformations right here. This happens because of how Roblox applies the textures on the meshes. It just takes the all sides of the mesh and just has an image on them. But moving to the next material, which is going to be the clay roof tiles. And this one I should probably present more on a part than a sphere going in this direction. And this one is just kind of weird because from like the distance it looks alright. But once you get close to it you can just kind of see that it looks like it was an image just slapped on top of another image with the tiles and it doesn't really look too natural but from around this distance is okay and again you can just change its color also but other than the graphic the reflection on this is actually really nice because if you take for example this line of tiles you can see how the light is reflecting basically as if this was a round tile and it kind of looks like a grid from a distance and I'm just going to display the reflection on the darker color. Because the dark color actually fits this one, this material, really well. And I'm just going to move this one back here and just go around the sphere. So you can see how the light is actually reflecting on this. So that's the fourth material and that means we are halfway done. And the fifth one on the list is going to be the lever. So I just give it like a lever color. And with this one because this material is a bit different than the previous ones, we are able to see the roughness on this material and the reflection is going to interact way differently than previously. Mostly on like this top part right here. 
And again, same goes for a different color. But I'm just going to leave it at this. But then we have the plaster, which is a drywall material. And this plaster would be a bit better to show off, unlike a normal part again. Just like so. So the plaster is usually a material that you would see like I said on a wall, or somewhere like orthopedic casts. That someone gets whenever they break a bone in their body for example. And whenever the sun shines on this material, you can see a lot of roughness on it, but it looks really nice from the back whenever there is no light. And again, I'm going to put it there and just go around the sphere. And now thinking about it, I should also do different lighting settings to show how these materials are going to behave in a different environment. But now there is only two materials left. One of them is going to be the roof shingles right here. And this is the same material that you would see on top of a roof. And this color behaves a bit differently. You can see on this transition that some of the parts right here, they are still going to be light. And this material is usually more grey, as well as it's also really rough. And you can notice it on the reflection right here. So this is the roof shingles material, but I'm also going to apply it on a part. And it's a bit harder to see because of the base plate, so I'm just going to do this. So like I said, normally you would just see this material on top of a roof. But now for the last material that Robles has added, it's going to be the rubber material. And yeah, it actually looks like rubber. Most of its details are a bit darker, so you are not going to see too much detail on, for example, a really dark color. But hey, if you ever needed rubber, then here it is. And now, like I said, for the different environments, I'm just going to change the sky and just show you how they are basically just displayed. So again, this is the cardboard, the carpet, and then the ceramic tiles, the clay roof tiles, then the lever, Then here is the plaster. The roof shingles. And the rubber. And I could also do something like change the clock time for a different display. And these are all of the new base materials that Roblox has added. So as usual, if you like to support the channel, and if you want to support me even more, you can become a channel member, where you get an access to more materials and also an asset pack, where I talk about it more with my previous video about asset packs that I recommend you watch. But yeah, that's basically going to be everything for today. So thank you guys for watching and see ya.